Here comes the storm! Here comes the storm! What is up, Scarnet? Bringing you Let's Play Pokemon Emerald version. Welcome to episode seven. I don't know why I said that awkwardly, but in the last episode, uh, as soon as we left the gym, there was an incident happened where this guy uh, was stolen from his goods by a Team Aqua member. So what we did, we made it all the way over here to try to get those Devon goods back. Because he stole it from the Devon Corporation, and that's not good. And he used a Pokemon for his to, uh, you know, for a hostage, pretty much. And we took out his one Pokemon with one shot. Of much shot, that is. And uh, if you didn't miss this last episode, then I highly suggest that you go back to it. Because there's just so many things I was talking about. And some stuff that I didn't even finish talking about. And uh, in this episode, we are going to do certain stuff. And the noise and the hair and yeah. So um, if you're just still here, then this is a spoiler from last episode, and you should feel bad for not doing what I said just now. Basically, right now I got myself a new Pokemon of Marsh Stomp. He evolved from Mudkip, and it is awesome. So uh, yeah, pretty much now uh, I also got another Pokemon right here, and it is Token, my Nincada that I got at the moment. And, uh, I'm only using it temporarily. I'm not gonna use it in the long run. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. But for right now, I just... Actually, let me go switch my Pokemon right quick. Um, so right now, I'm actually gonna go clear out this right over here. And if you notice, there's this guy, um, that, uh... Nimrod. That goofy goon I tell it out of the tunnel. I can't go back to digging. Oh. Well, um, inside this house, I don't quite remember what they talk about, but they all look pretty much the same. Let's go talk to you. I get to burn a turf without using this tunnel. You have to cross the sea to do for sale onto Slateboard, then travel through Mauville. Oh my gosh. Wait, say that again? To get to Verdant Turf without using this tunnel, you have to cross the sea to Duford, sail on to Slayport, then travel through Mauville. Yeah, that sounds like a huge pain. You have to get three cities to just to get to one place. That rust turf tunnel there. At first, we had a huge work crew boring. Wait. At first, we had a huge work crew boring through rocks with the latest machinery. But we had to stop. It turns out that we should, we would add uh, a negative effect on wild Pokemon in that area. So we got nothing to do but loll around here doing nothing. Well, at least he's being honest, you know. There's a man digging his way to Vernon Turf all by his lonesome. He's desperate to get through. He says that if he digs little by little without using machines, he won't disturb Pokemon and he'll avoid harming the natural environment. I wonder if he made it through yet. So, uh, I, that guy, he, I don't know. I guess it makes sense because it is dangerous doing that when there's Wismer that has a move that becomes stronger and stronger and they have really sensitive ears, so... If they uproared and then another one uproars, that would create even more power for more destruction in that place. So it's a very dangerous thing to do, and it will just completely break the cave. But yeah, I was saying earlier that I'm going to go over here. Um, none of my Pokemon can learn Cut, but Ninkata actually can. That's one of the reasons why I'm going to use Ninkata. Um, another reason I'll explain much, much later, and I should really train up for it, but I'm really worried about the second gym, so I'm gonna take my time on training Marsh Stomp and, uh, Shroomish, because, like I said, I'm really worried on the second gym. Oh, wait, what am I doing? 
uh, I was thinking in my head, oh wait, I should probably switch, but I did that. Just so you know, I never once been bested by anyone at anything! When you lay your eyes on my Pokemon's gorgeous fur, their beauty will render you helpless. So yeah, I was talking about the last episode about pertaining to um, Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, or I guess just Pokemon X since I'm just playing that. Um, and pertain to Pokemon White as well, because when I played Pokemon White towards the end of uh, Pokemon Crystal version, like on my own time, uh, what should I do here? Actually, I don't even know. Okay, pause. Alright, so if you have a Hawkeye, you would notice that this footage is a bit off. Not only because it's desynced, but mostly because the fact is, is that every time I pass 30 minutes on my emulator, it glitches up in the beginning. So this is, in fact, filler footage, and you're going to notice something in about 5 seconds when I'm done pausing it. So, uh, I also want to point out that towards the end of the video, around 29 minutes to 30 minutes, um... There's a change in quality. Basically, what happens if I were to upload this as it is, it would pause. Um, it would just the video would stop at 30 minutes, and it I would finish halfway through, and um, I would get nowhere. So as you see, the video in total is like around 37 minutes, and uh, yeah, it's the same footage except it's just lower quality. That's pretty much it, and. Um, when it changes up, because right now you see uh, Marsh Stomp and Shroomage against a, a uh, Zigzagoon and a Lotad, I end up one-shotting it in my filler footage, so that's why you see a change in there, because that's what I was dreading, is like, oh, uh, I hope I don't get into a battle when this glitches up, because that's not filler footage I could take care of. Because I'm pretty sure episode 2, uh, 1, 2, and 3, I possibly, I, uh, did filler footage on those, but in the beginning, I talked to people for the longest time, and uh, it wasn't as big of a deal. Now it is because I go to a battle early onward, and there's like a thousand ways um, the battle could change. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, play. Um, let's do Bullet Seed on Zigzagoon, and let's. Tackle, I guess. Because much shot, it would. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I made the right decision. Because much shot's resisted on low tad, so I wouldn't do a thing. I was saying that uh, there are certain things in Pokemon White that, to be honest, I was all like, eh, two hits again? Really? I was like, eh, you know, it's just not. I know what they're going for. Like, I'm talking about in the beginning of the game, you know? But it feels weird to me about it. I'm talking about multiple rivals and stuff like that. And in Pokemon X, I feel like they did it so much better in that in in that thing because the reason for it that I say that is oh god, Lady Sarah use Forest Store. Why you use Forest Store? Um, it feels more engaging in Pokemon X. Because I did like the fact, and I'm trying to avoid spoilers here, just for people that haven't played Pokemon X and Y. I know there's some people so like, just say it, it's the beginning of the game, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, but, you know, uh, just pointing that out there. Oh, we're learning Mega Drain. Uh, let's see here, though. Um, Absorb, Bullet Seed, Leaf Seed. I'm probably going to get rid of Absorb because it's an upgraded version of that move. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Pretty much... That did pretty good damage. Pretty much it feels more engaging. Because I did like the fact that in your rivals in Pokemon White that, you know, you did your first steps together. You know, I like that part. It's just that the rivals doesn't feel like they're any competition, really. Um, your main rival, though, uh, I mean, it, it's he's more powerful because he's strong against you but I just don't feel any connection with them to be quite honest 
when it comes to Pokemon X and your rivals, um, I feel like it's a lot more engaging and stuff like that. It's all like, alright, so here's the plan. And I feel like I'm part of a group more than like, okay, we're... Uh, I don't know. It's just, I, it just makes me feel a part of something more than, okay, we're best friends. And... Uh, I know that sounds wrong, just just me saying that, like, oh, we're, we're best friends, but, like, it starts off in the game, oh, shoot, I thought that was a double battle, and I was gonna walk downward, we learned all sorts of things at the trainer school, I want to test things out for real, I, I don't know if that's a girl or a guy, I can't see because of the back sprite, okay, it's a guy, this guy kind of looks like Max, that's what I always thought about school kids right here, so we're gonna go up against this Ralts, and we got Kyle here. Uh, let's test on Mega Drain. Uh, Ralts doesn't have the best defenses, so I should be able to take it out. But hopefully, you guys know what I mean, because you know it starts off the game so like, oh, here's your best friends, you know, blah 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 and blah blah blah, and uh, you don't even get to name them. And uh, well, I guess it's the same that goes for Pokemon X, but. When you start off the game, you don't start off like, oh, well, we're best friends and we know each other since I was born and stuff like that. Because I just moved into the town and these are neighbors that I just met. And they're, they're all like, I want to, I want the new kid to join the group and stuff like that. It just makes me feel so much better. It makes me feel so much more important. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. So... I guess for the common question, not the common question, the question of the day, I guess it could be the common question of the day, it's the same thing, I, I just, you know, stuff in my mind. Uh, I guess the question of the day is, how do you feel about, um, rival battles, I guess. And it's gonna be relatable, I probably said too much just by saying that, but who knows, really. Um... Meryl just got destroyed while I say that. I guess, it, yeah, it, it is really relatable, so I could definitely put that for I missed that. I think it says, You're, you're not one notch above me, or something like that. I only saw the word notch and above me, or not me, or something like that. I don't know. I missed it. That's the point. Okay, so let's cut down this tree for no reason. I just feel like all trees should be cut. That's not true. It's, it's not all trees. I just... Uh, these cuttable trees. You could also cut grass, I'm sure. So, uh, we found three pinap berries. Of course, pinaps are based off of pineapples. I don't quite remember is what they do. Let me just check right quick. Because these aren't berries that you use for... Yeah, it's a poke, poke block ingredient. So it's pertain to... Um, it's pertain to Pokemon contests. So that's why I don't know it. I just know the statuses and the healing ones. Like two Chesto berries. They're based off chestnuts. You know, they heal... Uh, they, they're awakenings. They, they wake up your Pokemon from sleep. Uh, I know for a fact I already said that. I just felt like saying it again. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get that Pokeball down there in a second. So that's pretty much uh, as far as I got in Pokemon X. I just feel like it's they the formula is correct in my mind because there's a formula in every Pokemon game, and they try to see which one's the best one. And I enjoyed immensely in Pokemon Black too. Oh my gosh, I've been playing that. I played that game non-stop when I first had it. I was like, oh my gosh, this game is so good. Uh, there's some people that I know that doesn't like it, but I don't know. I just like it. And I and uh, there's like a, a thing in the game where it's like they have tournaments and stuff. And I love tournaments. Oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods. You did? You got them back? You really are a great trainer. I know. As my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. And we attained another great ball. I would, I would like it more if I said another great ball. Excuse me, please. Please come with me. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us. 
Could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard and slave port? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, could I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Could you wait for here? Oh, wait, what? Could you wait here a second? I don't like it when I don't read correctly. It just bothers me so much, you know? Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Alright, so we're gonna meet the president of Devon Corporation since I, like, saved this guy twice. Please go ahead. Alright, hey, I'm Stan. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package of slip or shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you delivered a letter to Stephen in Duford. I obtained the letter, so yeah, we got a letter from that. Now you should know that I'm a great president. Uh, alright. So I never be so cheap as to ask a fair for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. And we got a Pokemon Nav, which is short for a Pokemon Navigator. That device. It's a Pokemon Navigator or Pokemon Nav, Poke, wow, or Pokemon Nav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn Reach. You can check the locations of Duford and Slayport easily. By the way, I have heard that sinister criminals Magma and Aqua, I believe, I have been making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rested up before you go on your way. Well then, Stan, go with caution and care. Alright, thank you. I'm gonna go out here. So yeah, we're in the top floor of the Devon Corporation. The corporation uh, that does many things. Uh, and there's actually one guy that you should look out for in the future. Just want to point out that this guy, I've been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils. And it's working! Alright, just... I always felt like that. He's it's awkward for him to say that. It's like I made uh, I don't know a device that makes you communicate with other people without wires. It's like uh, you mean a cell phone? Uh, no. I've been developing an added feature for the Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, why do I have trouble saying that? Pokenav, and it turned out great. Stan, may I see that Pokenav? The one our president gave you. There you go, Stan. I added a new feature named Match Call to your Poking app. Using the Match Call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered in your Poking app. Stan, our our President Stone should be registered in your Poking app. Test it out. Please give our President a call. I right, don't you think it's a bit awkward? I just saw him like two minutes ago. No, not even. It's like been literally a minute. I guess let's do it. And I do believe that the Match Call was added in Pokemon Emerald. I don't know if that's correct or not it just feels like it might be so I guess let's go do the match call let's go call you oh Stan since you call me the Pokemon must be working properly other people will be registered so try calling them up too good good you seem to be quite happy hmm how could I know that it's because I'm looking down at you from my office window <laughs> see you again all right cool Okay, I better get back to work. Please take care, Stan. Alright, so now, uh, there is actually a place um, that I would like to go to, and this is this place over here. And my Pokemon is sealed, so I don't need to go to Pokemon Center again. Every Pokemon has a special ability that can uh, they can use. Pokemon, uh, Pokemon are such strange creatures. And uh, there's a reason I went into this building. Pretty much that... There's this little girl over here, and I, I try to talk to you, and I look down for the keyboard just to see the, because I, if I, eh, whatever. Oh, it's so hard every day. What's hard, you need to ask, is trying to figure out what to bake for meals every day. It really isn't easy coming up with meals every day. All right, that's, that's not what I was trying to refer to, but as you see, there's a little girl that's surrounded by these pokey dolls. Uh, this guy is having trouble making her daughter smile, and uh, he's worried about it because he believes that she may be sick. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Pepper household. I have a question for you. Have you ever babysat? You see, I'm a new father, so raising a child is all new to me. 
And I have a problem. My daughter Walda doesn't laugh enough. I think she'd laugh for me if I told her something funny. Do you know a funny word or a phrase you can tell me? Oh, that's wonderful. So let's hear it. You, uh, let's hear it. Your suggestion. Okay, so I got it on my laptop of what to say. It's a bit weird, but let me see this right quick. Uh, it's not a real word. It's another thing. Okay, let's see. It's uh, it has, I don't know if it has to be lowercase, but I'm gonna do it anyway. F P um Q B C this this isn't a word clearly L um <laughs> a Batman symbol another Batman symbol uh Hang on, what the heck? I'm looking back at my laptop, and it's really just... Jeez. This isn't a word. Like, at all. J I, J I have to go all the way around. I, I was trying to get a lower C. Uh... G... V... J H is that it? No, no, no. Freak is uh, lower. Is capital H? Shoot. Okay, so let's let's get capital H. So I found it on this website that like it depends on your ID number of what stuff you get. But it's kind of weird because I remember a long time ago when I had my own Pokemon Emerald cartridge when I first had it, I looked it up online and it was an actual word. It was all like you know. Honey whiskers or something like that. It was an actual word. This isn't a word. It's I don't know. It's not a real. It's not a real word at all. Does that even look like a J? Yeah. Okay. It is a J. All right. Let's just do it. Ah, I see. Let's let's move it. Try it, shall we? Oh yeah, she's laughing. Oh, I am as light as she. Thank you. Thanks to you, my darling Walda, uh, laugh for me. Actually, I may not look all that special, but I'm one of Devon Corporation's top researchers, so how about I do something in return for you? I know, I'll add some new wallpaper patterns for the boxes in the PC. Uh, Pokemon Source System. In the wallpaper pattern menu, select Friends. That will give you access to the new wallpaper patterns. So yeah, we made her daughter Walda Peppers laugh. And uh, that gives us wallpaper. Of course, this isn't required. This is totally optional. So I guess I have to go in the Pokemon Center regardless, just to see, um, just to go in the PC. And we never use the PC, but uh, uh, we go to someone's PC. We don't know who the person that made this store system is quite yet. But you know, there's withdraw Pokemon, deposit Pokemon. You could do that. But it's so much easier just to go to move Pokemon, and then there's move items. You know, that's you know self-explanatory too. I like doing this much, much more. So uh, if I would like to change this, I would go to wallpaper and then go to friends. And there we go. That's the wallpaper I selected. So if you guys want to know about what wallpaper you would like, because I definitely picked this one. Uh, for me, pretty much, I will put the website into the description, and this website also does other stuff, uh, cause I remember in Pokemon Black 2 actually, I had to do something pertaining to that, where I have to put a code in, and you'll get a certain something for it, so, uh, that website could benefit you, Pokemon related, it just depends on your ID number. So now, I won't continue my box no more, that's all I wanted to show off, and that's pretty much it for everything in Rustboro City. And now, uh, right here, right quick, I guess that's alright for my Pokemon. Let me just look up in my little notes right here that I could look on. Sorry about that, I just wanted to go over here because we actually got a rival battle here. Oh, hi Stan! You had a match call feature put on your Polynav! Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime! So we are sister made in the Pokenav. Oh, by the way, I passed Mr. Brownie in Petalburg Woods. I guess he's on his way home to his cottage by the sea. 
How the Pokedex coming along, Stan? Mine's looking pretty decent. So how about a little battle? So we are gonna do a battle again, sir. You just became a trainer, Stan. I'm not going to lose. So here we go. So it's a rival battle between either May or Brendan, depending on what character you picked. And she got two Pokemon, and she got a Wingle. And this Wingle, since I chose Mudkip. Oh man, this is gonna be hard to say. Um, and I should be careful because Wingle could learn Peck and all that stuff. Um, I could Mega Drain. Yeah, I'm gonna Mega Drain because it'll be easier for me. It'll be neutral damage and it'll be stab. And it doesn't have the best defenses, so I guess. Uh, well, let's test it out. Let's go do a normal tackle just to see. Oh, jeez, I'm confused. So, yeah. If you were to have a Trico, May and Brendan will have a Lotet and a Torchic ready for them. So, I just wanted to say that right quick. Oh my gosh, you have Wing Attack? Oh my lord. Wait, I already did a tackle. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking back because the laptop is like diagonal, I guess southwest from me, just to make it easier on myself. Uh, you have Trico. All right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go against you with my newly Marsh Stomp. So yeah, if you have a Torchic, Brendan will actually have a Slugma and a Mudkip, and for whatever reason, May actually has a Torkoal and a Mudkip. So, I, I don't know, I find that weird because if Brendan has a Slugma, you know, the uh, fire type that has the lowest stats on any fire type in the game, I don't know why they gave May a Torkoal. And not only that, Slugma and Torkoal are not even found in this place. So, now that I did buy it, this is going to do a lot of damage to this Pokemon. Oh, wait, I'm still storing? Oh my god, no! Oh dang. I was not paying attention. Let me not pay attention some more because I need to continue looking backwards. So if you were to pick Mudkip, as you see, um, you know, she uses the Wingle and a Trico. I don't know why I bothered to turn around because you're looking at it right now. So yeah, the only main change is if you have a Torchic. That's kind of weird. And as if you notice, uh, when you do pick a Pokemon that, uh, you know, uh, you, like let's say Torchic, he's gonna have, or she's gonna have a fire Pokemon, uh, the same as you. So every, that's, that's the thing that's going for, as I'm screwing up my words right now. I can't speak today, um, just like every single day. Oh yeah, one more tackle should do it. And there we go, we defeated May. Even though we kind of struggled a bit, that's because I had kind of had a look backwards at my notes. I probably should have written it down, to be honest. This would make it easier on me. But yeah, we have defeated Trainer May. Thanks, you're better than I expected! Alright, cool. Now let me go back to my timer so I could see this. Oh dang, I'm already at 30 minutes. Oh, by the way, Mr. Brownie, who I just passed, San! You just moved here, so you might not know this, but Mr. Brony was once a revered seafarer. Alright, cool. Let me go heal my Pokemon right quick. And we're actually gonna go... Heal my Pokemon. Just really quickly. And there's actually... There's a little bit more stuff I do want to do. Because the next episode, more likely, is gonna be... Uh is more likely gonna be a gym battle because the gym and the uh, the second gym is not far like at all so really I don't know it's it's not gonna be long and there's only two trainers left that I need a battle so right here we found an X accuracy that's a good selling item that I could give away um, you know since that's a cuttable tree we could cut trees now awesome and there's some more trees over here, so I'm gonna go cut you down. I, I don't know, I just find it really, really odd. This is uh, like the Slugman, the Torkoal. It's like, why did they give the May a Torkoal? I don't understand. Maybe they're referencing, um... 
Maybe they're referencing, uh, you know, the anime. Oh, neat! That's the badge from Resboro Gym! You must be a trainer! You should try using this item! And we got the Miracle C, which reminds me, I need to give items to my Pokemon, or else I won't be able to do stuff. So, let's go do that. Oh, wait, I need to switch... Oh, okay, good thing I looked at that. So let's give those two items. So the Miracle Seed obviously boosts up Grass-type Pokemon. Maybe it's not that obvious. Maybe I shouldn't say it like that. But yeah, it does that. And of course, that would be very helpful for any Pokemon really. So let's go over here. And oh yeah, that reminds me since I'm looking at the Silcoon. There's something very interesting pertaining to Silcoon and Cascoon that I found out that I didn't even realize. Um, well, it should have been obvious to me. Basically, you already know that the Wurmpool and Silcoon and Cascoon are based on, you know, silkworms and, you know, their cocoons and stuff like that. Something I didn't know is when they hatch out of that cocoon, they become silk moths. I don't know. This I don't know much about that type of stuff because I don't see silkworms just anywhere out here. Did I not get that Pokeball? I'm sorry. Did I? What? Oh, wait, maybe I'm in that part of the forest I haven't been yet. That confused me, like, really badly. This looks like a secret item spot. No, uh, well, this definitely does. There we go. We got a tiny mushroom. So a tiny mushroom, what you use it for is to sell. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Just sell your items, pretty much. And they got a little tail right here. So let's just do a little tackle and uh, just do that. And there we go. So let's get out of here. Oh, but I was saying about the silk silkworm and the silk moth and stuff like that. Um, the way they, in real life, that is, to a person gets silk is that when a silkworm becomes a cocoon, really, uh, you know, it, it makes this thread and it spins it around. And it's just a fun fact for you guys. I don't know why that didn't kill. I'm 10 levels above you and I got a... I got a nature to that boost attack. That makes no sense. Uh, but, uh, they said a, a thread of silk, and if there's a thread of iron, the silk is actually much stronger than the, the thread of iron. But, uh, the... What the heck is this? Um, am I interrupting something? P! P! Yo, yo, yo! Hold on, lads! Wait up, Pico! <laughs> hmm. You're Stan! You said my darling Pico. We owe so much to you. Was that you wanted to sail with me? Hmm. You have a letter bound for Duford on the package for Slateport, then. Quite the busy life you must lead. But certainly, what you're asking is no problem at all. You come to the right man. We'll, we'll set sail for Duford. Do for it is then! Anchors away, Pico, we're saying so, my darling. I know for a fact that I changed his voice dramatically, because the last one I was like, raw, 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 and now he's all like, nah, nah, nah. So we can see everything on here on Route 105. Oh, someone's calling me. Hang on, sorry. Hello? Oh, Stan! Where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. I just heard from Devin's Mr. Stone about your Pokénap, so I decided to give you a call. It sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You take care now. And now we registered our daddy, Norman, in the Pokénap. Alright, so let's continue onward. I didn't, you didn't have to stop the ship, Mr. Briny. You really didn't. Um, but yeah, there's a couple more trainers, as you see in the top left corner just now. And now we finally made it to Duford Town. Ahoy! We hit land in Duford. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to who was it now, Stephen? And I changed his voice again. That's 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 just wonderful. Um, I I'm all right just to battle them right now. So let's just go do that. What do people do if they need to go to a washroom? What if my rod hooks a big one while uh, I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. I have no idea what he's talking about. To be quite honest with you, I'm just gonna clear this route out right quick. And Fisherman Ned would like to battle, and he has a tentacle. Um, but yeah, 
I, I was saying about the silkworm thing. So yeah, thread of silk is said if there was a thread of iron alongside it, that the silk would be much, much stronger. Which is like, oh my god, you missed. Okay, good, you missed too. It's a free turn. Uh, which is interesting, because if you have like a wall of silk, would it be theoretically stronger than a wall of iron? I don't know. But the way that people get, um, you know, we're level 17. Fisherman there was defeated. Oh, that's because I was trying not to go to the washroom. But how people get silk in actuality, uh, this is true because what they do is, which do you prefer, fishing in the sea or a stream? What they do is, pretty much, is they're hoping for it to get the silk while they're still in the cocoon. Because if they don't do that, and if the silk breaks off and tries to become a silk moth, it will break the silk and they don't want that, uh... They pretty much don't want that silk to be broken or else that, that silk will just be shorter than usual and it, it wouldn't be of high, of high quality pretty much. So what they do is they actually just gas them while they're still into the cocoon and they just, you know, since inside they die from the gas and they have these people where they find the end of the thread and just unwind it and just you know throw away the dead uh, silkworm and they use the thread uh, with this completion and I never knew about that I learned that actually from my costume class because I have a costume class which is another thing I should talk about but I can't because I don't have that much time left I have, I'm already 35 minutes in and we just created this magic card and that's what they do to get thread, and I find that interesting. And I always find Wimples and, you know, the lineup interesting. Like in the deep sea fishing, I lost. Spectacularly. So, Sang got $400 for winning. So, in the next episode, wait. Fishing is great, but so is battling. If you don't mind, can we meet again? And we register Fisherman Elliot in the Pokénav. So, uh, we could enter this cave, but there's no reason to because you won't be able to see anything. And it's not really that hard to navigate through that place, but I prefer it if I have a way to, you know, just see everything. And I think that there's, yeah, there's something in this rock. So, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. So, in the next episode, we are actually gonna go into the gym. And what is that gym? It's actually a fighting type gym. It is. Do for town Pokemon gym leader Brawly. A big wave in fighting. So if you like this episode, don't forget to press the like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. And White Tigers and Dragons to you.